Welcome back, viewers. This is our episode number 19. Sweet what do you have 19. to say about it? <laughs> we are finally now teenagers. Sweet 16. We are now young. <laughs> well, uh, so Admiral, this news uh, is already one week old. But still yes. people are going on about it. Twitter has become X. So We are now X-Men. How do, uh, why we, we are do, doing this uh, podcast is because Anmol and I, we started having an argument. I, I, and uh, I being an Elon Musk fan because I love aliens. <laughs> and uh, uh, I, I think it is a genius move on his part. Uh, I love the whole concept of rebranding into X. I love the new logo as well. But Anmol does not agree with me. Anmol, why yeah, don't you agree? I, I don't like it. <laughs> why you don't like it? Oh, because why I am just a Bobby fan. fan. Why, don't, why don't like our Elon Baba? <laughs> <laughs> no, I like Elon Baba, but the Buddy, I, I, you know, I'm going to miss the Buddy, <laughs> and especially no, you know what, what we used to call. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, the, the, being a Twitter user since 2013, there was an attachment with the Bluebird, and especially how we used to call Tweet. And bye bye, Bluebird. <laughs> <laughs> and yeah, and Elon Musk mentioned that not just the bird uh, logo is going away of Twitter, but also the birdies are going away. So. <laughs> Uh, that is one of the reason of uh, sadness for many people. Well, well, but I, I personally feel that uh, see, yeah, I, I feel that uh, uh, there are two two reasons that how I look at it. You know, one one first one is uh, Elon Musk bought Twitter out of revenge. You know, where it was right. a revenge move on his part. Yeah, he wanted to uh, basically rip Twitter apart, and that's what he's exactly doing. He's changing everything that. He uh, hated about that brand. So uh, uh, this shows how much uh, despise uh, he had towards that brand that he's changing everything, starting from their employees. Now the logo is gone. Uh, second oh, is uh, brand uh, Delhi, SpaceX. His own, uh, uh, well, second, second part is uh, SpaceX being his, uh, you know, brand that brought him into the fame, you know. Elon Musk is known for SpaceX. Right. So I, I think he wants to bring that uh, SpaceX brand into it, and uh, somehow uh, he wants to use Twitter to further the SpaceX brand. So he wants to remind that, everybody that could be that possible his because he has already mentioned that you know X is going to be an everything app. So I think he is going to hmm. be going in that direction with it. But yeah, uh, for mm. the most uh, average consumers of Twitter who are posting on it daily, who have been building their followings, mm. for them, uh, you know, this is a move that... Uh, and I read a lot of tweets, uh, tweets that people will go away, and especially considering the time when Meta launched their app threads. So it is threads, a kind know, of a different move, I will say. Somehow, see, uh, uh, you, you have to understand, Elon Musk is Tony Stark in real life. Right? Right. He's, he's, he's Adam Man. Uh, and uh, he shares the, 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 some character with uh, uh, his uh, character is similar to the uh, the comic character. He he is uh, that uh, reckless uh, risk taker. You know uh, he goes ahead with uh, things and he says stuff that he actually he speaks his mind uh, just like Tony Stark does. And then he right. eventually takes some outrageous decisions. Which uh, might feel uh, like uh, uh, seem you know outrageous to regular normal people, earthly people like us, uh, uh, beings uh, like us. But uh, eventually, there is a bigger plan to it. So that's how I look at it. He is uh, going to so, make uh, X the new WeChat. I think <laughs> I read it yes, somewhere. Uh, uh, and then, then, yes, another thing he shares with Tony Stark is the arrogance, right? So mm-hmm. the arrogance that he has is the Twitter people are not going in. Tweeples, uh, that's what you, they used to call it, uh, themselves, right? The Tweeples okay. are not going anywhere. Uh, now they, They're going to be X people or X men, whatever you like to like to call them. So it sounds more cool. Uh, he, uh, where would they go? Thread is not taking up, uh, picking up. No, uh, as Thread fast, is, uh, uh, I was reading a report yesterday or some uh, two, three day, uh, days back, which said that Threads has lost 50% of its user base, active user base. Mm. So initially it was just a bank, but you know, now it has Mm. lost its uh, charm, I will say. 
it was just a, a momentary 15 minutes fad that came in and everybody created their x profile uh, sorry a thread profile thread and profile. Uh, that we are on threads and that that's about it i don't see much activity and much happening right. on threads as much as twitter i mean twitter is so relevant uh, and Plus, he understands another the power thing of- uh, what i like uh, you know though i am against the x branding but one thing i like is that elon is making it free speech you can say exactly. anything and everything you like about Twitter. Exactly. So uh, that, this is where I was coming to, you know, like, so how Elon is looking at it is uh, people were not leaving Twitter even when Twitter was suppressing their voice, right? right. Twitter, Twitter was bullying people, literally. And uh, yes. that is why and Elon Musk came into. So a regular, I mean, uh, such a minor thing as changing its brand and logo is not going to push these users anywhere. Maybe yeah, they'll no, feel... But there is uh, uh, one thing we need to see bit, here. Uh, yeah. That, uh, you know, it takes a lot of time to build a brand. And now huh. the brand, whole branding has changed. So there is, of course, a loss of brand value with Twitter. So that yes, is... That that's is that's what you say. And now, now remember what uh, I said a few uh, podcasts back is uh, it's just like the hotels. The, they they have all the hotels have logos, but right. logos are not the brand. Right. The brand uh, the brand is not going anywhere, and uh, he understands it's a huge user base, and people have too much to lose if they leave the profile. I uh, yeah that that is the point because president and all of these people they do not go on Instagram and say things they take decisions and put them on Twitter, so that is one point that on those Twitter. people are not going anywhere. Hmm. And uh, right, they're Twitter not going anywhere. That I mean, like uh, yeah. So that's what I'm saying. Uh, the, the arrogance is coming from a source. There's a source to the arrogance uh, of Elon <laughs> Musk. But yes, uh, at the same time, like you and many brand gurus are calling it a, a disaster. So could you elaborate a little bit more on that? Uh, sorry, I, uh, I'm too <laughs> excited about uh, Elon Musk's decision. <laughs> so I didn't let you speak. <laughs> no, the, the main thing is, the, you know, that, uh, you know, even the Twitter CEO, she went on uh, Twitter, mm. told that, uh, you know, that we have got a chance to build something great again. But, uh, you know, mm. I think it will take some time for people to gain that much popularity with X because... Right now, I know even, you know, it's my habit. I will go and search for Twitter on my mobile, even on App Store. Mm. If I am going, I am searching mm. for Twitter. It's the habit. And uh, mm. most people, they it will take a lot of time to adapt uh, for the case. Uh, because uh, though I have not done my de- in-depth analysis, what the data says, but that's what I feel that it will take uh, time for people to adapt. And especially for the new users, because mm. old people old users of Twitter, they know it as Twitter, not X. X is hmm. something that is new. Right. So uh, the, that thing, is something. Right. Uh, you, what you were saying is uh, that uh, though it is a new, branding is new, but uh, product mal stays pe- the same. Yeah, wow. mal to same hai. <laughs> so, I was selling coffee, now I'm selling coffee. Before I'm calling my coffee something else. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so, so uh, what I think is, also focus on the product development of the of part uh, of part of hmm. x as well though uh, you know he made hmm. the move he changed the branding he did that stuff but i think he should focus on getting the core product as well right for more users because hmm. uh, you know ashwin if you remember when elon musk came into the picture most of the advertisers have fled away from twitter and even hmm. if you remember there was a very uh, popular controversy about apple leaving twitter for advertising right so uh, i think right, you right, know right. advertisers are leaving so that the, uh, and twitter or uh, x is already under huge loss right yes exactly so how are they going to make up for that so i think uh, though it, it is uh, okay that he changed the name uh, he is the tony stark he, he can do whatever he wants to do but he should do the changes hmm. that are required to keep the product going because uh, hmm. ultimately what makes a user retain to your website or a product is and we have talked this talked about this uh, a lot in our uh, other podcast as well it's the product itself not the branding and all that those are the secondary products at the end uh, you know if i am buying something i want it to be usable i I want it to be you know in a certain way that i'm uh, either giving my money or my time 
so mm. that is one of my concerns that okay the branding is okay but how is he going to get the advertisers yes, back get... mm. yeah i have an idea what he yeah. can do is he can promise all the twitter or x users that uh, uh, he'll send them to the moon <laughs> <laughs> yeah i think that will do the moon. Well. <laughs> <laughs> that, that will increase his user base <laughs> and as far as i know elon musk he might say it someday and then tomorrow next day he'll say oh i was just joking <laughs> i'm <a> joking <laughs> <That's okay. laughs> i mean yeah. exactly they used to do the same thing with dodge right yeah. right yeah that is there I agree that is there. Yeah. He can do a lot of stuff. He is Elon Musk. <laughs> he he can do a lot. Of, I think yeah. uh, with X he will be integrating it in Tesla or doing some uh, kind of crazy stuff as well. And I was reading hmm. it somewhere that he is planning to integrate banking as well in X. I don't know what it was exactly about but I just read it somewhere. So I don't you know what like uh, it's funny that you saying that because uh, when I saw the X uh, uh, the entire logo and the color scheme it it reminded me of cred kind of i gave me that cred kind of feel <laughs> yeah i think you're right i agree so, yeah, it so, looks like uh, i am using think, cred yeah. not exactly cred mm. but yeah in the similar lines of cred so right. that is there uh, so i wouldn't be surprised if twitter uh, or x is attached to upi tomorrow <laughs> <laughs> and uh, okay yeah yeah from, from upi i remember since elon musk has come into the picture now we uh, we as creators we can take money from people on twitter uh, i think no. there is stripe integration or paypal integration already there and he he is no. going to just take it to the next level with x i think the, that's his core plan mm-hmm. so that could be no, one of the future was, you know yeah. use cases of twitter where people can take mm-hmm. payments they can launch their newsletters so creators could lo- benefit a lot and as well as brands brands can run mm-hmm. uh, fundraising campaigns on twitter so a lot can mm-hmm. happen i think <laughs> true so that true, is true. there with twitter but yeah i think elon should also work on the core product as well. I, i still say oh, yeah, <laughs> yeah, 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 core product is something that is because uh, see personally i also really love twitter i uh, go once a day see what is trending here in india like yesterday uh, you know i got to know about uh, the rights happening in gurugram from twitter i went on to twitter mm-hmm. i see why gurugram is trending then i visited i got to know about the information so all of that happens from twitter and most people uh, people who like me who, who who like to read the news digitally they first go on twitter they want to see what mm-hmm. the what thing is happening yeah, you get the news in real time yeah you, yeah you get the news in real time everything that's happening starting from the prime minister prime minister modi is huge on twitter uh you talk about the us president everyone is there on twitter and like they all uh are sharing the views out there so you get it first hand and in real time so yes and uh, how do you make an awesome product already an awesome product better that is where the challenge lies yeah mm-hmm. because uh, you know ad- agreed- advertisers going away will be a huge uh, problem advertisers needs mm-hmm. to come back to twitter i think see advertisers leaving uh, i personally feel advertiser leaving is a temporary problem uh, i might be wrong uh, so right. you can you uh, if you defer you can let me know but uh, advertisers are like you know uh, those bad friends <laughs> they uh, they'll leave for a t- temporarily then they'll come back to you saying oh uh, again uh, i'm a joke that, 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 that is a possibility that is a possibility but uh, if you see like we as a digital transformation firm we have also even not yet gone to twitter to run our ads recently of mm. course i will for our audience i to tell them i tried boosting the last podcast video with uh, 10 usd a day budget for two days to see mm. what it does but uh, till date i haven't got any good results even my promotion i am not seeing if it's running or not so i think that part of mm. it uh, it lacks transparency what i will say so mm. that 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 is one of the pointers that i have so that is one reasons i think advertisers because on facebook the ecosystem is so good you can do a ton of stuff linkedin you can do a ton of stuff mm. google you can do a ton of stuff but twitter i think it's pretty basic as of now and uh, there is not much clarity for advertisers because personally i haven't uh, read yeah, any sorry. share me more more challenges that you are facing uh, as an i mean it's for our uh, uh, for, uh, marketing fraternity uh, what what do you feel uh, 
uh, where where do you feel Twitter is lacking as far as running ad is concerned? Where are we missing out uh, when we are running the ads? And why don't we encourage our clients to run ads on Twitter? So just elaborate on that a little bit. So, okay. So I will uh, share some factors. First factor is Twitter is not easy to run ads. When I tried to set up the account for our company, so I couldn't find my time zone. I had to go and search on Google. I had to take the pain to find why it's not showing plus 530. So it was a problem. And then I had to choose a time zone that was, uh, you know, plus six. I, I couldn't find my time zone. And that was one of the factors I would have bounced off if I wasn't curious to know how it works as an advertiser, mm -hmm. as a marketer, if I have planned to go on Twitter and I am not able to create my account properly by selecting the time zone I am living in. So that is a problem. Though it's a small so thing. Better but UI for the ad runners. Better UI and better options. You know, why my time zone is not visible? It matters, you know. 30 mm -hmm. minutes also matters when you are running an ad. Now I need That's to always... Yeah, I mean, now uh, I need to always yeah. see that uh, my ad runs, uh, you know, prior. So mm -hmm. if I am running ad at 5.30 as per the twitter time zone it will be at six or it will be at five so i need to keep that in mind because my time zone and this setting once you set it up you can't change it then they charge you in True. us dollars i think like facebook they have adopted it linkedin they have adopted it google they have adopted it they should shift to the local currencies as well if i am local in currencies. india they should charge me an inr and there should be gst claim as well which i get from google linkedin and facebook Right now, it's not available on Twitter, though I have put my tax information. No, that that is I... surprising for me uh, that tw Twitter does not have the GST claim. Oh, yes. Uh, well, Jack Dorsey was uh, uh, arrogant about the same thing that uh, Google uh, Twitter is not based out of India. So he right. does not have to find, uh, follow the Indian law of the land. Exactly. So, I so, think, but... see, uh, yeah, go ahead, go ahead. Sorry. Yeah. yeah. And then, uh, you know, after you have created your account, uh, you have run the advertisement. So the campaign structure are also not very similar. So like if you know how to run Facebook ads, you can easily run a Google ad. You can easily run a LinkedIn ad because you have that thought process. But when you go on Twitter, it just becomes different. You know, last yeah. time I was trying to boost our podcast post. So it was not that giving me that confidence and that friendly experience with my money that I'm spending. You know, $20 is a lot as an advertiser. If I run that same ad on Facebook, I will, I know what I am getting into. I will know what amount of reach it will be. But on Twitter, True. there is no transparency. How, what is the forecast? So it just, you know, tells me to stay away from it. So that part of it, I think Twitter needs to work on. And once they get uh, those kind of tools into it, then I think hmm. it will be a better ecosystem for advertisers to come back and advertise. Though I see that Apple is still advertising on Twitter, but for small companies where they can, you know, get a lot of revenue. India is a place where we have a lot of startups and in the world there are who want to get their hands on Twitter because Twitter has a very good... Right. For, for yeah, these yeah. kind of mistakes, I think we, uh, I think Jack Dorsey is to be blamed more than Elon Musk because yeah. see, uh, what you're talking about, Twitter is like 10 years behind uh, other social media platforms. Yes. Uh, if you take LinkedIn, if you take uh, Facebook, uh, Google, <clears throat> the, I think these issues were sorted by them about 10 years back. Uh, yeah, exactly. Yeah, so, uh, I mean, if these issues are persisting uh, till now on Twitter, and even Elon Musk just bought Twitter, uh, just what, a yeah. year and a half back. So, uh, I'm surprised that uh, these issues are there in Twitter, uh, uh, because uh, then it was already a very pr primitive pr platform. And, and uh, yes, exactly. what I feel is Jack Dorsey simply just washed, uh, washed his hand, uh, uh, he ran away from a sinking ship. Uh, we knew that. Right. Yeah, already. I also think the same. And yeah. recently I was reading some uh, some of the top developers tweets. So he said that Twitter is built on a very native technology. Now, if Elon Musk is even <laughs> trying to change the branding, he should you know get the code in place as well. Because the technology right. it's built on is old. So I was reading, uh, reading it somewhere. So I think uh, he should, uh, I think it, of course, he is Elon Musk. He would have planned something before doing it. He, he mm. is not going to throw just arrows in the dark. So he would have uh, planned something for it. Well, that, that's what I'm thinking now. Now that like these, uh, you've discussed these things, uh, it opens my mind more towards it. I, I think there must be a huge work that is, or uh, that, that is being put into Twitter. And that is the reason that entire rebranding is also taking place because the product yeah, has been changed at the back. Yeah, I, I was, uh, you know, reading a case study whenever a brand, it gets its name tarnished because of a few things. So the best way to get your reputation back is by rebranding it.
rebranding so it, i think yes. that's what he is trying to do is uh, now with the new branding as x so he is going to mm-hmm. take it to the next level i think uh, that's his plan well let's uh, yeah. let's end this podcast with a positive note that uh, uh, like let's hope that uh, elon musk has planned something big and he is going to give us some pleasant surprise see i'm not mm-hmm. a big twitter fan I, I i you know i hardly use twitter yeah. I, uh, the only time i once retweeted was poonam pandey <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's on a light note. Uh, uh, <laughs> uh, I'm but... going to put Ashwin's handle in the description. You can go and see what he likes. <laughs> no, 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 I'm just kidding. Uh, well, Poonam Pandey was trending a lot on Twitter at one time, if you remember. <laughs> so that's that's uh, I mean, so that that's all I cared about Twitter at one point of time, and uh, I still don't give a, two hoots about that platform. So. Uh, obviously uh, you are a, a bigger twitter user than i am and i can understand why you feeling about it so much and i am not feeling about it that much right. <clears throat> but then again at the same time like i said uh, when i think of elon musk uh, obviously he is not an idiot i mean uh, he has uh, shown uh, shown us uh, such genius moves with all his uh, work uh, i'm pretty sure he is putting in a lot of work uh, at the back end and that is why right. this entire rebranding I'm, I'm pretty and he's very good at uh, giving surprises right so, uh, so let's hope he comes up with something and he surprises us all with his next move uh, <laughs> yeah i'm so excited <laughs> to see it <laughs> yeah. yeah so what, what do our viewers think please put your uh, thoughts in, uh, in the thoughts comment in the what, comment section what, what do you think elon musk is up to with twitter and uh, what, what do you think he uh, he can improve uh, in twitter and uh, you I'm get glad jack dorsey is gone uh, from twitter and i'm glad that uh, elon musk took over uh, twitter he's going to do better with, with that platform because uh, i was losing faith faith in that platform uh, already so, right right and now that you told such things uh, i'm i'm i'm, uh, I'm already Uh, kind of disappointed with the previous team with the work that they had shown and so the, right. I, i don't hold elon musk accountable for this <laughs> i hold the old twitter team accountable for this they were just <laughs> acting like big bullies uh, suppressing people's voices and uh, yeah i uh, th- on that point i agree that the old team was not doing a very good job that's why elon musk did yes. the layoffs as well so mm. it was then no, in a very... why he laid off all of them i mean if they were working on a primitive platform why not lay them off I mean, if he has to uh, work on something fresh and he has to renew the entire thing, he might as well bring a new team, right? <clears throat> Which thinks like him. Yeah. All so right. I think this, like I said, sums up. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Please, uh, so if you, you liked it, just, please leave a thumbs up. Just go on X and tell us your opinions on at the red crop stickle, and at the red we will be looking please. forward to catch up with you again soon. Yeah. So thank you so much for watching this episode, and we will be seeing you around.